Good day all, I am Yaku J Freak Duplessis, insert gamer tag there, uh, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Tech Update. I am a South African based content creator who has been involved in the tech retail set sector for the last 10 years. I have a love of all things tech related and I think that I inherited that from my father. Due to the above, I regularly get asked to share my opinion on a vast variety of tech based subjects, so I've decided to start a YouTube channel to uh, share my considerable knowledge and years of experience with a wide audience. <laughs> so <laughs> let's get right to it. Uh, first up, I wanted to discuss ChatGPT. Uh, so, are you tired of mundane tasks and seeking a sidekick that's smarter than the average Joe, maybe? Uh, do you have an assistant at your office that is really frustrating you? Well, look no further. ChatGPT can actually assist you in a wide variety of things in your everyday life. Uh, so, watch till the end. I've got a bonus tip here that I discovered that will help you make use of it uh, fully. So, give you better results when you ask it questions or give it prompts. Uh, but first, just a short explainer on what a ChatGPT actually is. ChatGPT is an advanced AI language model by a company called OpenAI. And that's just a fancy way of saying it's a piece of software, a program that you can access over the internet, over in your web browser, that is basically like a very knowledgeable friend who you can go to for advice, guidance, or just an interesting conversation. It is designed to understand and generate human-like responses uh, through your phone's web browser or your computer's web browser uh, in text-based conversation. Uh, so I'm pretty sure there are some variants out there where you can actually input voice or react in voice and it will react back, but it might, it's not chat GPT at this stage. As far as I know, there might be some plugins as well. We'll look into that in future videos. So a few ways how you can use chat GPT in your everyday life. First up, you can use it to help you cook. So, have you ever struggled with ideas on what to make for dinner? There's never enough time to look through the different recipes on the internet. You can't remember what you have at home. Uh, you know more, Chef GPT is here. You can give it the ingredients you have at home and it can suggest recipes that will include those for you. So I only had some eggplant, carrots, potatoes and ground beef at home and I fed those into the prompt and got some delicious recipe ideas. You can also ask it to make meals of a certain type. So you don't eat meat, you can ask it to suggest some vegetarian meals. Are you avoiding carbs for a diet? Tell it to give you recipe ideas that do not include those. Uh, you can even put input a type of meal that you like and uh, your suggestions will help it tailor the output that it gives you. So if for example I was in the mood for Indian food, I could ask it to suggest a recipe that would take more, no more than 30 minutes to cook. I did this and it gave me some quite a few ideas. So I love Indian food, but my wife and son not so much. So I just have to use a little less curry on that last one maybe. Next thing it can do is it can actually help you be more productive at work. So uh, if you are for example an electrician, it can, uh, it can suggest troubleshooting ideas for an electrical problem that's been frustrating you for quite some time. Uh, it can help you understand what regulations or code or codes are um, valid in any given scenario. It can provide safety tips uh, to based on uh, the input you give it. So if you tell it that we are going to do this type of work today, it can give you safety tips based on that. You can actually then um, use those in your daily work. Uh, it can also help an actuary, for example, with data and data analysis, uh, identifying trains in data and assisting with calc trains. How's, how's that one? <laughs> it can help you with uh, in identifying trains and assist in calculating and evaluating risk uh, based on historical data, industry benchmarks, and actuarial models. Uh, for an occupational therapist, for example, somebody who works with children to help their development, their mental development, it can provide suggestions on therapy techniques and exercises and activities based on the specific patient needs and goals. For a draftsman who draws up plans for buildings, bridges, so forth, uh, if you're just starting out, ChatGPT can suggest tips and shortcuts to create accurate and efficient designs. It can also provide you with guidance on uh, how to use specific CAD tools. Uh, it can help you to troubleshoot software and explain advanced features. If you're an insurance account manager, ChatGPT can assist 
in handling customer service queries. It can address client concerns. It can suggest appropriate solutions based on your policies that are in place. You would typically have to inform it or tell it about what type of policies you have. Uh, but through all of that, it can then remember as well. So you don't have to put it in multiple times. If you're having a conversation with it, you can input it once and then ask it to make suggestions based on the previous inputs. If you are a personal trainer, ChatGPT can suggest workout plans tailored to your client's age and weight loss or fitness goals. So the list of possibilities here are really endless guys. I will be going into more detail on some of these in later videos on my channel. So let me know in the comment section down below what type of profession you are in and hit the subscribe button for future videos in regards to how ChatGPT can help you. So uh, tip number three, entertainment and leisure. Well, life's not all work and no play, right? ChatGPT knows how to keep the good times rolling. It can recommend captivating books, movies, and music tailored to your tastes. Uh, are you looking for a good romantic comedy? Ask it to make 10 suggestions. I asked it and some of the suggestions that came up is, for example, When Harry Met Sally. I've never watched that. Thought about it, and, you know, put it on the list to watch, definitely. Um, looking for a good book to read? You can suggest, a, uh, you can ask it to suggest a good novel based on the America, American colonial era, for example, and ask it for a short summary of each book's plot, and it will give you that. Are you running out of music to listen to? Um, you can ask it to su suggest good rock songs from the 90s, for example. I did this and it gave me some uh, bands that I've never heard of, uh, so really interested in going to listen to those and see what they like. Uh, plus, it's a trivia master and a pro at interactive story storytelling. So if you like uh, question answers based on general knowledge, it will play as long as you want to play. And um, if, for example, you need a bedtime story, I asked it to generate a short five minute bedtime story based on some criteria that I put in and it gave me a bedtime story for my son. Um, next up would be tip number four. It can help you study. When I was younger, we used to have to go to the library, read through loads of books and copy pages that were relevant to take home and complete a project. Yes, I am part of the BC or before computer generation, but I've come a long way, okay? So uh, today, most knowledge is accessible through the internet, and with the advent of AI technologies like ChatGPT, things will become even easier. So just a little disclaimer and my advice here, don't use it to write your entire SA or project if you are in school or university uh, and copy it as is. ChatGPT is a little outdated due to the fact that it is only trained on data relevant up to September 2021 and some facts can be inaccurate. It can also at times possibly copy section, sections, sections, sections of text <laughs> that are unique to other people's work. Um, and you can get in trouble if you copy that directly. The best way to use ChatGPT to help you study is as an assistant to summarize content that you need to review, find resources, draw up a study plan maybe, ask it questions or help it, ask it to help you critique your work. It is extremely good at summarizing large portions of text. Uh, you can ask it to output the results of the summary in a specific format like bullet points. Um, if I was, for example, doing research on how solar panels work, I could find an article, copy the text, paste it into the prompt on ChatGPT and ask it to summarize it for me. I would also ask it to provide a summary in bullet form to make it easier for me to review. You can also input the material that you have to study, give it a date and time that this needs to be completed and ask it to work out a study schedule for you. If you don't understand a section of a subject, you can ask ChatGPT to explain that section in a way that you would understand. So very useful uh, to help you be more productive in your study. Tip number five, you can ask it uh, to help you with everyday problem solving. I have tech troubles got you down. You don't know why your phone is acting the way it does. Have you got car troubles? Uh, you don't know how to get the burn marks out of your favorite pot. ChatGPT is your secret weapon for everyday problem solving. Uh, I asked why my phone was so slow and it returned some things I could check. If you don't understand the tech jargon, you can ask it to provide you with uh, an explanation of a specific step for your phone model. Um, you can, for example, ask it how to clear the app cache and temporary files on a Samsung A22 and it will guide you on a step -by, in a step-by-step -step way for that. I asked it for advice on how to open the hood that was stuck on my Kia Picanto 2009 and it returns step-by-step -step instructions and some methods to try to get it open. 
It seems though that even this super AI can't solve all problems as it advised me to seek out professional help from a dealer when the suggestions did not yield the results that I required. Uh, but it did give me a place to start and it took a whole lot less time and was a lot more relevant to me than searching the internet one article or one video at a time. Especially with something like a specific car model, it's a lot easier to go this way than just googling it. Um, now if I can only get it to help me figure out where the heck that constant clicking sound is coming from when I drive, that would be super. So all in all, it's an amazing virtual assistant with a multitude of use cases to help you brainstorm ideas and, how, and get unstuck if you don't know exactly how to solve a particular problem or if your brain is just overloaded. It helps you cut down on the time it takes to perform mundane tasks and be more productive. Uh, so before I go, the tip I promised in the beginning. Don't be afraid to be as detailed as possible with your requests. It helps ChatGPT to give you responses more tailored to what you are looking for. You can even ask ChatGPT to answer from a particular perspective. Uh, you can, for example, ask it to give you an answer in a format that a five-year-old will understand, or from the perspective of an expert in any given subject. I hope you enjoyed the video and found some tips for using ChatGPT in your everyday life. If you did, don't forget to like the video by hitting the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more informative tech-related content in future. That's it guys, uh, see you in the next video.